Alright guys, so today we're going to learn about colored pencil techniques. Um, we're going to be making a chart on how to do them. Um, it's going to include seven different things. Uh, so colored pencil technique charts will go in the first. Stippling, hatching, cross hatching, back and forth, scumbling, varied line pressure, and finally layering. So how we're going to do this. You're going to get a sheet of paper. You're going to fold it in half. You're going to fold it in half again, and then you're going to tuck it so it makes a nice little square. Make sure you press on all your lines when you're folding, and then open it back up. In that first square, you're just going to write what we're doing, which says colored pencil techniques. Um, then stippling. It's important that you do light, medium, and heavy, leaving room underneath so you can draw there. Hatching, cross hatching. Uh, Linear means lines. Curve means you're going to go around a curve. Be aware of that. Back and forth, scumbling, varied line pressure, light, medium, heavy, again, leaving room, and finally, layering. So, underline it so you know exactly what you're working with. Alright, um, so if you are using a twistable, there is this bottom section that you have to twist up. Right, you twist it until some of it shows. So you have some of it just popped out. Don't keep twisting, you'll break it. Have a tiny bit twist out, so you know what you're doing. All right, so in the light, stippling. Stippling is dots. So you're just gonna do little dots. The closer you have dots, the darker it becomes. So in medium, I'll make them a little bit darker. I'll press a little bit harder. See how light, you could barely see what was going on. Heavy, let me focus this again. Uh, heavy, you make sure that you get it really, you're pressing hard, you're making sure they're really close together, and really practicing what you're doing. And just doing dots. Good stuff, all right. Hatching. Hatching means that you are making strokes that go in the same direction. Pick a direction, and you go with it. Different from back and forth, because back and forth you will actually go in both directions. Here you are literally lifting up and putting back down. Okay, cross hatching. Linear means that you start out with hatching, and then you come the opposite way, making a 90 degree angle between each stitch or each hatch. And curved means that you're going to draw yourselves a circle. You can see that there. And then I'm going to go around the circle to do my initial hatching. Going in a circular motion. And then I'm going to come around with my cross hatching. Again, making a 90 degree angle. And go around it. It's good for if you're trying to show light. Um, you can get lighter as you go in the middle. So it shows where that light source is. Okay, back and forth, different from patching, because you actually keep your pen down. And notice how my, where's my thing? How it's starting to get low. If I need to, I can twist it up just a little bit. Hence, a twistable. You don't have to sharpen these things. And then for back and forth, you're just literally keeping your pencil, and you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, scumbling. This is something you probably haven't heard of. And, ooh, I didn't follow my own direction. Let me make sure I have that underlined. I don't know what we're doing. Scumbling is when you're going in circles, overlapping each other as they go out. Right? Scumbling across, layering it together. This is good for when you're trying to show texture. I want you to make sure that you're using all of these. That's why we're doing them. Varying pressure. A lot of times we forget about this. So you can press really lightly and get a light effect. Press a little bit harder seeing a different color take shape, and then pressing even harder. You don't always have to be pressing down super hard on, on a pencil. You get very different results with how heavy you're pressing. And finally, we're going to do layering. So layering is when you're going back and forth, and then you're taking another color, again, twisting from the bottom, just twist up a little bit, and you're layering it over top of that. A lot of times I'll start from the outside and I'll work my way in and I'll slowly get lighter and lighter so I'll go through 
the varying stages will go from heavy to medium to light. So watch, heavy, all right, medium as overlapping, and then light. So it gives it a nice smooth transition, and you can do the same thing with the other way. So heavy, medium in the middle, light, and it gives it a nice smooth transition. It almost blends it together, like blending and painting. Okay, so these are our colored pencil techniques. You have learned them, I want you to use them. Don't just stick with your varying pressures or your really heavy weight. Try the stippling and the scumbling and the hatching and the cross hatching. Also, if you're having, coloring something in that circular, try using your hatch lines. Okay, have a good one.